Hi everyone, my name is Eric Shaver with Beaver Coach Sales, and today I'm here to talk to you about some RV apps. I wanna to talk to you about some of our favorites that we here in the industry use and we love. Um, there's tons of great apps out there, so we're not gonna cover them all, but we're gonna cover a few of our favorites. Um, so we're going to cover a few different things from booking your campsite to how do you get to your campsite. We have apps for everything there and in between. We hope you enjoy. If you do have any apps that you also like, please comment below. We'd love to check out more and see what else is out there. And stick around for the end. We have one app that we really love that we use not just in, in RVing, but in daily life as well to save money on fuel and to get rewards. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal app. So I hope you enjoy and please let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see. Without further ado, let's get into it. So for app number one, we have recreation.gov. So everyone has probably been on the website at some point or another, but they have an app now that is really, really well designed app. Um, I personally love it. It's a great app if you want to find state parks, um, you know, campgrounds at national parks, that sort of thing. It's a perfect app to not only find where they're located, um, contact information, but also you can book from the app to get your site, which is really neat. Um, you don't have to jump around from, from app to app or website to website. And on top of that, it's a lot more than just finding your campsite. So once you get where you're going, what do you do? What, what options do you have for tours or for different hikes? As I'm sure many of you have experienced, just like myself, there's a lot of hikes out there and different, different uh, events that you might want to go to that are on a lottery system. So it, within the app, you can actually check and see what locations are available, what events and hikes are available, and you can even put in for those those special um, hard to get lottery hikes, which is really neat. Um, you're not digging through a bunch of different data to find it. It's all in one place and you can figure out whether you got that lottery or you can put in for your next one. Um, really a well-designed app. We love it. It's uh, it's awesome for RVers, but they also have you know a ton of information on dispersed camping. So you know you can figure out if, if you don't want to camp in a normal campsite like a big RV, Maybe you're more of an overlander. They can help with that too. Lots of locations and, and information on where you can find dispersed camping and free camping on BLM land and other, other locations. That's the basics of the recreation.gov app. There's tons more functionality in there, whether you're searching for specific amenities, specific size RV sites, it's all in there. Um, wonderful app, and if you guys haven't used it, I highly recommend you check it out. It is one of the only ones on our list that is totally free. Um, obviously, you're gonna have to pay for your campsite, but until you get there, you're not gonna have to pay for the app. So, great app, definitely download it. Let us know what you think. All right, for app number two. Campendium. This is a wonderful app that many, many people have used. And one of the coolest parts of, that I like about it is that it has a member-based system where there's a lot of people that are, are inputting reviews. Um, so people that have actually camped in these campsites are telling you not only how they like the campsite, what amenities it has, but it even will tell you if you have cell service at that location. Really a neat concept. How many times have you been out in the woods and, and you're hoping that you're gonna have good signal and you, you get out there to find out you have nothing. So it's really nice for planning ahead. And on top of that, with 750,000 members, you're getting a ton of data from people that are out there camping just like you are. The other benefit is you can put in your own reviews. You can help other people find better campsites and figure out exactly what, you know, cell service it has and all, all those different types of things that you might need as a as an RVer. Um, when you're planning your trip, they have a really nice route planning tool as well as an RV GPS, which we're going to get into a little bit more on one of the next apps. But with Campendium, it really focuses on, on user reviews so you can really know not only what you're getting, but it's not going to be doctored up photos. A lot of the people that are on this app are using their own photos so you can see exactly what it looks like off of an iPhone 7 all the way up to the craziest camera and, and photography out there. You'll actually see what it really looks like before you get there. So you can give you a much better idea of what that campsite is going to look like, not just the whole campground. Um, so it's really a nice feature to be able to dig in a little bit more detail about where you're going, where you want to be. So for Campendium, next time you're starting your next RV trip, you can search nationwide not only campgrounds, but you can also search that BLM land, free dispersed camping, um, many other other options other than just a standard campground. What I like about Campendium though is they focus on the whole breadth. So they're not just focusing on high-end campgrounds and they're not just focusing on state parks. They kind of cover everything in between. And what's really valuable to me as an RVer to have that is that I can kind of pick and choose what type of camping we're doing that weekend. And it gives me tons of availability for every different type of camping that you can do. Um, really a valuable tool, especially if you do you know, tent camping as well as RV camping. Um, you can actually use, use the app for multiple types of camping and still have a ton of info and data from people that are doing it just like you. Campendium has an option for an annual membership. That membership costs $59.99 at the filming of this video. What that gets you is what's called the Road Pass Pro. Um, it just basically opens up more 
functionality of the app, allowing you to plan more in-depth trips rather than just the three stops. You can add different stops along the way, which is another great point to bring up. It's really nice to be, when you're in an RV, especially a bigger RV. We have 45 footers, people towing big trailers behind them. You can't get into every gas station. So with this app, you can plan ahead to see what gas stations um, you might be able to fit in better than others, and you can put those stops on your route. I really love that trip planning you know, mentality towards it. Uh, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of the trip you're gonna be taking, which can sometimes be the most stressful part of RV. So Campanium, absolutely rockstar, wonderful app. We use it all the time. And now for app number three, Harvest Hosts. I'm sure if you're an RVer, you've definitely heard of Harvest Hosts from time to time. Um, in the past five to 10 years, it has absolutely blown up in popularity and it is a really, really unique concept. So what I love about this app and this type of travel is that you get to experience more of where you're going. You're not just going to a cookie cutter campsite, you're actually getting to go to a unique location and it doesn't cost you anything when you get there, but they do encourage you to purchase from whoever that host is. So for example, if it's a winery, they'd love if you came in and did a wine tasting, maybe bought a bottle of wine to help support them. And that's really the purpose of it, is to drive community to these wonderful locations that you're gonna be visiting anyway. Might as well camp on the most beautiful wineries, you know? So really a neat idea, especially if you're a golfer, you can stay at a lot of golf courses. So forget the Walmart parking lots and the truck stops. Now you have a much better option to be able to go into the locations of where you're already gonna be and you're already traveling. All those, all those events and things you wanna see anyway, why, don't, why not camp right in their backyard? It's an amazing program. They've actually also partnered with uh, Boondockers Welcome, which is another unique thing. It's, it's in an essence, it's almost like Airbnb for RVers. So people can post their home, like for example, if they have a, um, an RV spot on the side of their house, you can actually post on that app. And then as, as a member of Boondockers Welcome, you can stay, make new friends, stay in a location that's a little bit more unique. And sometimes you might even find a, a better campsite at someone's house than you do at a campground. So it's a really neat idea to, to become a part of that community a little bit more and meet a bunch of RVers and people who are passionate about the same lifestyle we are. Uh, really an awesome, awesome program. Harvest Hosts has, has combined with Boondockers Welcome to give you a couple different options. So for just the traditional Harvest Host experience, they have 5,156 members of that currently. And by members, I mean locations you can stay. So if you opt for the Boondockers Welcome as well, that's gonna be $169.99 per year. What that does though, is it opens up a lot more hosts. So now you'll have access to over 8,700 hosts when you go with that option. For their top tier option, you have their annual all access pass at $179.99 per year. That opens you up to 9,200 locations to stay within the United States. Really a phenomenal option. Uh, if you think about it, a lot of campsites, you're gonna spend that money in, in two nights at a regular campsite. So it's a really great option if you wanna see more of the country. And it, when you do that, if you wanna see more of the, the unique spots in each location you're going to. Um, really a phenomenal app and a wonderful community. I've heard nothing but good things from my friends that have used it. I've loved using it. It's just a wonderful opportunity. Definitely check out Harvest Host and Boondockers Welcome. Um, definitely dig in, start playing with the app a little bit, see what's out there that you might like. Um, it, like I mentioned earlier, if you're a golfer, if you like breweries or wineries, this is the perfect app for you. You're going to get a much better experience and a much more personal experience when you get where you're going. So if you've used it or if you want to use it, let us know in the comments. We'd love to talk to you more about it and your experiences with it as well. And now for app number four. This one's called RV Life. This is a very widely downloaded app. Uh, it's one of my favorite for planning a trip. Um, as we mentioned before, some of these other apps do have trip planning built into their map system and that sort of thing. This one is more defined specifically for RV GPS, which you can add in your length, your height, your weight. Um, and on top of that, it allows you to plan a trip out in a little bit more depth. Um, what I mean by that is you can add multiple stops you can plan around the size of your RV, and many apps allow you to do that, but RV Life seems to have really focused on the travel aspect of getting to your campsite. They also have ability to look up campsites, book campsites, so many of the same uh, features that we're having in a lot of other apps, but I will tell you, from the GPS standpoint, RV Life has been the best RV GPS that I've found, unless you're going with the Garmin or something that's built into the unit. So to have something on your phone that you can transfer from one rig to another, RV Life is excellent at helping you plan your trip. So within that GPS, what they allow you to do is plan for your length, your height, and your weight, as I mentioned before. And what that really does, what that means in a user standpoint, is they're not gonna take you over bridges that you can't go over. They're not gonna take you under tunnels. And in fact, you can even turn on or off those options. So it can plan a route specifically around where you wanna drive. Not so much just where you wanna go, but this really encompasses the entire travel aspect of the RV life. Love the app, it's phenomenal. Um, it really gives you a lot more confidence when you're out on the road. 
not having to worry about turning around, unhooking your tow car. It really takes a lot of the fine tuning out of planning your trip and does it for you. Um, I'm a huge fan of the RV GPS app. Um, it's something that really builds off of Apple Maps and Google Maps that don't really cater to the RVer so much as it does in just a passenger car. So if you're an RVer, especially if you have a, a, a class A or a larger unit, bar none, this is one of the best apps for driving and getting to your destination. So if you're ready to start using RV Life GPS, it's a free app to start, which is great because you can start getting a feel for it. And if you want to unlock a little bit more uh, planning features where you can add multiple stops and save multiple trips, they do have a membership option as well. If you want to dive in and start using this app, your annual price will be $65 a year, or you can pay monthly for $19.99 per month. Now, finally, my fifth and favorite app of all. This app is something that you may have already used. Uh, this is an app called Gas Buddy. And a Gas Buddy is a really cool app because it's not just for RVers. Um, it's extremely useful, especially if you have a diesel pusher, you've traveled, you've seen the variance in diesel prices. It can be drastic. What Gas Buddy does is it condenses all of that information. If you're in a town you've never been to before, you can look right on the app and see what current prices are as of that day. It's user-driven data. So the cool thing about that too is they offer rewards. So the more that you use the app and the more that you help out by posting current gas prices or even just by simply saying that yes, this gas price is correct, they'll actually allow you to build rewards for even better gas savings. Not only does this app help you find the cheapest gas in town with the best rewards, but they even offer their own free rewards card to save you up to 25 cents per gallon at the pump. Phenomenal opportunity to jump on and save on fuel that you're already buying anyway. Now for the RVer specifically, we all know that it is a very difficult time at the pump, especially in, in today's economy. Let's face it guys, we don't buy RVs for how good they are on fuel. We buy them because they're fun. And so with that, you're gonna have some costs and some expenses. Why not save money on that and rack up more and more fuel rewards that you can even use in your car when you get home? So overall, it's really a phenomenal app that you're gonna love, not only in your RV life, but in your day-to-day -day life. On top of that, one final thing that I was extremely impressed by is when I entered the information for my car, which it allows you to do, you can add information with your VIN or with your, your vehicles. Um, it actually gave me a report on what recalls I had on my vehicle. Phenomenal idea. It's an excellent way to, to learn even earlier on what you might have to go into the shop for. I have no idea how they do it, but I'm really impressed. It's been a huge help for me, not only on gas savings, but just general information about driving driving characteristics um, they have a tracker in there that you can actually track your driving habits and it can help you on, on figuring out how to save fuel just a really well-rounded app 90 million users it's been a huge app for years uh, big fan of that so if you're RVing if you're just in your daily life whatever get gas buddy it's phenomenal highly recommend so with that I hope you enjoy if you have any other apps you'd like us to review or take a look at we would love to hear them we're always looking for the next great thing in technology especially in the RV space thank you so much for watching everyone again my name is Eric Shaver with Beaver Coach Sales. If you enjoyed this video today, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know if there's something else out there you'd like to see. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting out a lot more videos like this to help our viewers like yourself and to get out there in the community a little bit more. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you down the road.